Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter, and I was asked back to do another Made by Mommy craft challenge. So, what I have to do, if you don't remember from last month, I get a box of random things and I have to use at least five things in this box to make something completely fabulous, or at least something. It may not be fabulous, we can only hope. So let's take a look of what's in the box. I got my knife here. Kids, don't try this at home, it's a sharp knife. Oh, can't even, let me put it on the table. Wow, we get a lot of stuff in here. Okay, we've got a baggie with some punchinella, which is like the sequiny, wasty, drywally stuff. Tissue paper. Tissue paper, that's a, that's a good one. That is for so much stuff. Pipe cleaners, pom-poms, embroidery floss, spool, a little baby, a little baby. Look at that little baby, so cute. Buckets or mini Barbie trash cans, I don't know. Little teddy bear, so cute. I gotta make sure I don't get this mixed up with all the other crap on my desk right now. Plastic canvas, noodles, noodles, packing noodles, packing peanut noodles. We've got some paper. Ooh, feathers. And a lay. Oh, I might just wear this. We'll go with my acrylic paint. Colored popsicle sticks. And some cork. Look at all the fantastic things that I'm going to use. I have no idea what I'm gonna make, but wish me luck. Let's go to the table and see what we can come up with. It's time for the craftiest show on the internet. It's the Made by Mommy Craft Challenge. Since we're also allowed to use the box that all of our supplies came in, I decided to cut all the flaps off the box and use that as a base of my project. Then I adhered the small flaps into the middle of the big flaps, making a double sturdy divider for my box. Since I have four flaps, I can make two dividers. I'm just bending the overage over, and then I'm gonna use thick glue, tacky glue, to glue that to the inside of my box like I did on that other one. You wanna make sure you use a nice thick glue that will grab quickly and be super duper strong. To decorate the outside of my box, I'm gonna use popsicle sticks. There was these beautiful rainbow popsicle sticks in my package, so I thought that I would just spread a layer of tacky glue and then arrange my popsicle sticks in rainbow order on all sides of my box. After I completely covered the box, I poured some of the white acrylic paint that came in the kit into the packaging of the paint, and I used a sponge to sponge on some paint through that piece of punchinella that also came in the kit. I thought it would give me a really cool, grungy, distressed look on the outside of my rainbow box. I originally planned to use these corks as the feet on my box, but then I realized that they weren't exactly the same height, so I decided to go with those plastic buckets as feet instead. And that way I could actually wrap the lay around the bottom of the box, and it was then it would have a really cute little ruffle too. Since I plan on using this box as a craft caddy, I decided to glue a couple corks in a couple of the corners of the box. That way if I have a um, sewing needle with some thread on it or a pin that I don't want to get lost, I can poke it in the cork and nothing will happen to it. And here is my finished box. It's sitting on my table ready to go. And what I've done here is I've actually sorted the next three projects I plan on working on in the compartments of the box. And that way I can stay organized. And if I ever have a point where I don't know what I wanna make, I can just look and see what's in my box. I used some of the purple pattern paper that was on the inside of my um, wrappings for the popsicles to decorate the edges of my box and make them a little more sturdy. And I also embellished the inside of the box with a couple leftover popsicle sticks. I think it looks great and I wanna thank the uh, folks at Made by Mommy for inviting me to take part in this challenge. And make sure you check out the playlist of all the other November Craft Challenge participants. There's so many great ideas there and that link will be in the video description. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.